Well, cattle prices have remained mostly steady through the first quarter of 2009. However, the amount Louisiana cattle growers are paying right now for feed and fertilizer has fluctuated greatly. As this week in Louisiana Agriculture's Avery Davidson shows us in part two of his coverage of the calf to carcass tour, future government regulation could also dig into the pockets of Louisiana's ranchers. <laughs> That's the sound of money. Cattlemen from across the country sell their steers and heifers here at the Oklahoma National Stockyards. 10,000 head a week trot through this arena. This time, Louisiana cattlemen on the calf to carcass tour are watching. But instead of thinking about who is making money here, they're concerned about how much cash is coming out of their pockets. Your feed, your fertilizer, everything is through the roof, seems like. We've got to help them find things that can make them more efficient and profitable, and that's why we do these tours every year. It's here at the Noble Foundation's research farm near Marietta, Oklahoma, where these men learn ways to get more bang for their buck. We can grow grass in Louisiana. We've got to help our producers develop these forage programs year-round where they can add value to their calves. Here at the Oswald Road Ranch, Noble's researchers are doing just that, discovering which grasses are better for grazing cattle and exploring the possibility of having cattle forage on switchgrass, which cattle producers could then harvest for the production of cellulosic ethanol. Nearly every stop we make on these tours is educational where producers can learn something new to take back to their operations and hopefully make them more competitive and profitable. What could eat into those profits are proposed federal regulations, taxes on carbon emissions from cattle, and new standards for the treatment of these herds. West Feliciana Parish cattleman John Patrick says new regulations usually mean new costs. I think that we're going to be scrutinized heavily by the uh, Humane Society and things like that. And the more information, the better we can do the job up front, the less we'll be scrutinized because we'll already be up to on board with that. That way when their cattle are, they get to keep more of the money. On the Calf to Carcass Tour, I'm Avery Davidson for this week in Louisiana Agriculture. The cattle industry here in Louisiana contributes more than $350 million a year to the state's economy. To learn more about the LSU Calf to Carcass program, you can click on over to our website, twilatv.org.